Eat the Frog is an effective productivity method that helps you beat procrastination and get more done. The idea is that you simply pick out your hardest, most important task for the day and you label it as the frog. It's really important that you only pick out one frog per day. Next, you'll eat the frog, which basically just means you'll do this task first thing in the morning if you can. Don't push it for later, do it straight away. You'll feel great as you'll have already completed your hardest, most important task and it's not even lunchtime yet. You'll be amazed at how much you can get done. To help you apply this method, I've created a Notion template that will help you to identify your frog and complete it first thing. Let's take a look. So we firstly have this database up here and on this tab, this is your frog for the day. So this will always display whatever you've labeled as your frog, AKA the most important task. So you can look at this page and clearly see what you need to get done first thing in the morning. You can then mark it as complete on here. I've then got a separate tab for today, which also shows your frog, but it also shows all of the other tasks that you want to get complete that day. So you can have a look here to actually complete your full to-do list. And then I also have this all tasks view, which shows all of your upcoming tasks. And we have these toggles here so you can easily see which ones are for today, which ones are for tomorrow. So you can use this for planning. You can click here to label whichever one as your frog and so on. Then just below, I've also set up a calendar view of the exact same database because I know a lot of people like to see their tasks on a calendar. So as you can see, the frog will always appear at the top of the list on the calendar and it'll also be labeled as frog as well. This is the all tasks view. So it shows all of your tasks, including ones that have been completed. And then I've got a separate tab for due tasks. So any that have been completed will disappear. So this one only shows outstanding tasks. So that is the template that I've set up. So in the rest of the video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this exact template from scratch. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Notion tips and tricks. So I've just set up a brand new blank page. I'm just naming this one, Eat the Frog, and I've just picked an icon and a cover photo, but that's it. We're gonna start by adding a brand new database. So I'm gonna type in forward slash database and select this database inline option. And you can call this whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it Eat the Frog. And I'm also just gonna click on here to hide the database title. Now we're gonna start by just adding a few tasks into the database so that we have something to work with. So I'm just gonna click on here and start inputting a few in here. Let's go with film YouTube video. Okay, so once we've got a couple of tasks in here, we're now gonna change this tags property that is added by default to a different type of property. So I'm actually just gonna click on here and edit the property. And instead of a multi-select, we're just gonna change it to a select. So the only difference between these is that with the select, you can only select one option, whereas with multi-select, as you can imagine, you can select multiple options. And we're also just gonna change the name to frog as well. Now, all we're gonna do in here is just add one option and it's gonna be so we can label the task as frog. So so I'm just gonna type in frog. And if you want, you can also add a frog emoji in here as well, which I'm gonna do. So to quickly grab an emoji, if I just go back here onto the page, if you type in a colon like this and just the name of an emoji, so I'm typing in frog, here it is. So I'm just gonna grab that and let's just copy it. Let's head back into our select property. So I'm gonna click on here, edit the property, click add an option. And again, let's just type in frog. And I'm just gonna paste in that frog, put a little space in between. And if you hit enter, it's gonna add that as an option. So I'm just gonna click on here as well and let's change it to green because I think that looks a little bit better. And that is now what we have. So we're not gonna add any other options in here. If you have different types of tasks, then you can add other options in here. But for the sake of this template, we're just gonna leave it as a frog. So let's start by picking one of our tasks to be our frog for the day. So let's just go with this film YouTube video. So I'm gonna click on here and just select that one as the frog. Now remember that with this method, it's really important that you only select one frog per day. If you have too many frogs, then it kind of defeats the purpose. You just want one most important task for the day. I also want to add a couple more properties to the table. The first one is gonna be a due date property. So we're gonna click on here and let's just type in date and select this date property. And I'm just gonna name this one due. So this is where we can input the due date. So if you click on this box, it's gonna bring up the calendar. So I'm just gonna put all of these as today's date. And I also want to add a checkbox property so that we can check off tasks once they're complete. So I'm gonna click on here and let's just type in checkbox and go with this one. And I'm actually just gonna name this one mark as complete. And so it doesn't take up so much room. I'm just gonna pull the side in here to make it smaller until you can just see the checkbox like this. So I'm just gonna add a couple more tasks. So just before we jump back into the tutorial, I just want to mention that my new Second Brain template is now available on my store. It's a super advanced all-in-one productivity system. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you're interested. So that's all back to the tutorial. Next, to make this look a little bit better, I'm just gonna add an icon to all of the tasks. So one thing you can do is actually just highlight all of them like this. I'm gonna click on the six dots here next to them and select icons and let's go with notions icon library and I'm gonna go with this check mark icon here so that's just gonna add 
add that icon to all of the tasks so it just looks a little bit more aesthetic. Next, we're gonna make another view where it's only gonna to show today's frog task so that we can focus on completing that task first thing in the morning. So I'm actually gonna click on here and we're gonna duplicate this tab. And this tab we are gonna to call today's frog. And you can also select an icon as well. Let's go with these two exclamation marks as well to show that it's urgent. And I'm also just gonna bring this to the front because I want this to be the first tab that we see. The first thing I'm gonna do is change the layout of this to a gallery rather than a table. So to do that, we're gonna click on the three dots, select layout, and we're gonna go with gallery. I'm also just gonna click the back button and select properties so that we can actually see a few more properties on the cards. So the ones that we want to see here are gonna be the due date and also this mock as complete checkbox as well. So by hiding them they're now going to display on the card as you can see here. So as I mentioned earlier this tab is only supposed to display today's frog task aka the most important task for today so we're going to add a filter so that I only see that task. So I'm going to click on here to add a filter. I'm actually going to add an advanced filter so I'm going to select that option. Now we only want to see tasks where firstly the frog select property is frog so therefore we're only selecting these tasks that are the most important and I also want the due date to be today so I'm going to add another filter rule like this and you want to make sure this says and we're going to change this to due is today so the due date is today so both of these need to be true for it to show up so therefore we're only getting the most important task for today and as you can see by adding that filter we've now got rid of everything else and we're just showing this one task that I did label as our frog for today next what we're going to do is just add a fun cover photo to make it really obvious that this is our frog so I'm actually just going to click on here and we can actually add the image on the page in here so I made one over on Canva just with a green background and a frog graphic so I'm going to upload that one in here you can simply just drag and drop it in here or if you want you can also use the image block like this and upload it from here. So I've just uploaded my image and this is what it looks like. So if I now click back onto our main page, as you can see, it's now displaying that image on the card. So it's really obvious that this is our frog task, the first thing that I need to get done. Next, we're gonna duplicate this tab and set up another view which shows all of the tasks and not just the frog task. So I'm gonna duplicate it and let's change the name of this simply to just today and you can also change the icon to this calendar as well let's just move this one over as the second tab now i'm just going to amend the filter so we're going to click on here and i'm simply just going to delete this first criteria here because we don't need that we simply just want it to say where the due date is today so we're just seeing today's task regardless of if they're the frog task or not and this is what that looks like I'm also just going to add a sort because I want the frog task always to appear as the first task depending on the order that you put these in it may not be displaying here it could be over here or something like that so we're going to add a sort to ensure that it always displays at the top and you're just going to sort based on the frog and you just want to make sure it says frog ascending it's just going to always make sure that the frog is the first task so I'm going to leave it as that if you do want to add another filter that removes tasks once you mark them as complete then you can do that it's completely up to you if you like them to disappear or not if you do want to do that you can just click on the filter just add a filter for the markers complete checkbox and just set it to the markers complete is unchecked and that's just going to remove any that are complete but I'm just going to remove that for now because I'm going to leave it as this okay so finally on this last tab here we are going to now improve this one so we're going to firstly click on here to rename it and I'm going to name it all tasks and I'm just gonna pick a different icon as well. Let's go with this bullet point list. We're also gonna add a grouping based on the date. So if you look here in the options, you'll see this group option. So I'm gonna click on that and we are gonna group based on the due date. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna essentially just group the tasks together based on the due date here. So you're gonna have a toggle up here for each of the different due dates. So you'll get a today, a tomorrow, and next seven days as well. We're also just gonna add a sort on here for the due date. So I'm just gonna click on sort based on the due date and you're gonna make sure it's due ascending. And that's just gonna make sure that the tasks are always sorted in the correct order based on the due date. So that is the basic setup complete. I also just want to add a couple of templates in here so that when you're adding new tasks into the system, it's easy to see set your normal tasks and your frog tasks. So what we're gonna do is click on this arrow here and add a new template. Now the first one is gonna be your frog tasks. So I'm just gonna call this one the frog template. And I'm also just gonna click on here to add an icon. Now I'm keeping the same check mark icon for all of our tasks, but if you did want a different icon for your frog tasks, then feel free to add that here. I'm also just gonna set this frog property here to frog. 
And finally, I'm just going to upload that same image again here. And that's just going to ensure that displays as our cover photo. So that's all we need to do. So I'm just going to click back and we're then going to set up one more template. So click on this arrow again, new template. And this one is going to be our non frog template. Once again, we're just going to select an icon. I'm going with the exact same check mark icon and I'm going to leave all of these settings blank and we're not going to upload a cover photo unless you have a different cover photo that you want to upload. Then that's fine. Just upload it here. But for now, I'm just going to click back. Now we're actually going to make the non frog template our default template because I'm imagining that the majority of the tasks that you add in here are going to be non frog tasks. So we're going to put that as the default template. So I'm going to click on here, set it as default and you want to select for all views. So that just means whenever you add a new task into the system, it's going to apply this template as default. But if you want to add the frog template later, then you easily can. So let me just show you how that works. So let's just add another task down here. As you can see, it's adding the non frog template for me so I can just replace this with the actual name of the task and it's also adding that icon for me as well. Now if at any point I want to decide that this is actually a frog task I can just open up the page and you'll see the frog template here that I can select from. So if I then select the frog template, it's going to apply the frog setting and the cover photo. OK, so the final thing we're going to do is just underneath, we're actually going to add in a calendar view. So for the calendar, I think it would work better if this page was a bit wider. So I'm actually going to make it full width. So to do that, you can click on the three dots up here and select full width. That's just going to make the page wider, as I said, which works best for a calendar. So I'm just going to type in forward slash calendar and select the calendar view option. And it's then going to ask if you want to select an existing database. So we're going to select the eat the frog database that we've just set up. And that's going to pull through all of the tasks onto the calendar. I'm just going to start by just hiding this title. And I do want to see a few more properties on our calendar. So what we're going to do is click on the three dots here, select properties. And I also want to see the markers complete checkbox so that I can check it off straight from the calendar and let's also show the frog property as well so I can easily see which tasks are my frog. We don't need to see the due date as it's already on the calendar so I can already see the date. So this is now what it looks like. Now, as you can see on this one, the frog is appearing here in the middle, but I would like the frog to appear at the top of the list every single day so I can make sure I get that task complete first. So to do that, we're going to add our sort and we're just going to sort based on the frog. So you just want to make sure it says frog ascending. And as you can see, that's then going to make sure that the frog displays right at the top. And at this point, I'm just going to click on this tab here and give it a different name. So we're going to call this one all tasks. And I'm going to set up another view just for outstanding tasks, because as you can see, this one includes tasks that have been complete. So we're going to click on here and duplicate it. And let's change the name of this one to due tasks. And you can also select a different icon as well. I think I'm going to go with this exclamation in a circle. And all we need to do to get rid of these tasks that have been complete is add a filter. So I'm going to click on here, select the mark as complete checkbox. And we only want to see tasks where the mark as complete checkbox is unchecked. And as you can see, that's just removed the complete task. So this tab shows outstanding tasks. This tab shows all tasks, including completed tasks. So that is the template all complete. So the way that I would use this template is every single day I'd open it up and look at our today's frog tab. So this will display just your one most important task. You can get started on it straight away and complete it and then check it off. You can then take a look at your today tab, which shows all of your other tasks. So you can just work through those throughout the day. And on the all tasks tab, this is where you can plan your upcoming tasks. So whenever you think of a new task that needs to get done, you can just add it in here and select a due date. And I would recommend coming to the tomorrow toggle the day before to pick your most important task for the next day. So let's say that the most important task is my meal planning. So I can simply open up this page here and select my frog template. So it's going to add the frog select here and it's also just going to add that photo in as well. So I'm all ready for tomorrow. So when I come to my today's frog tab, it's going to display this task for me as my most important task. And you can also see all your tasks on the calendar. And that's it. That is the eat the frog productivity method in Notion. You can check out all of my pre-made Notion templates over on my store, including this super advanced second brain template, which is an all in one productivity system. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if you did find this video useful, then I'd really appreciate if you could give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as I post new Notion tutorials like this one every week.